Right, this is just a short bit about Charity Bank. Um, I don't want to keep you from the lunch, to be honest. And yeah, Mel asked me to talk about the next step, and I almost say it's step change for Charity Bank this year. Um, what are we? Well, we're a bank that has a social mission. We will only invest in things that have a social purpose. You need to be able to repay us, to be honest, but actually the social purpose is as important to us as being able to be repaid. That's a very grand mission statement. It means sustainability. We want to help organisations become financially sustainable and socially sustainable. So it is loan finance. Pull no punches about it. We do want it back. That's the step change. Back in April, Big Society Capital made the biggest investment they have to date in us. The impact, we hope, will be to take us from a balance sheet around about 55, 60 million now to 250 million by 2018. That assumes there's demand in the marketplace and that goes back to big potential and lots of the other capacity building things that are there. There is a culture change. The question is, is there really that level of demand in the marketplace? And we're talking about loan finance. This is so, isn't social impact bonds or anything fancy. This is mortgage-based lending. We're predominantly a secured lender. Who have we supported today? Well, that's one of those fancy things. The bigger it is, the more we've done. Slim as that. <laughs> in terms of what we do, loans start at £50,000. And yes, we really do do £50,000 loans. And they go up to several million, about two and a half million at the moment. And we will support anything that has a social purpose. So those are the types of things. It tends to be a lot of housing. People like borrowing for secured things. Predominantly about 93% of our lending is to registered charities. That's historic. We date back from 2002, when if you thought it was hard to get a trustee to borrow now, it was very hard then. I almost swore, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Friday, it is Friday, yeah, but not really. Um, and what we're really interested in is the people those organisations support. So. Predominantly, the organisations that we work with, work with work with local communities. We did some figures, and it said our lending had touched the lives of three and a half million people through the organisations we'd work with. That's a very round number and a very big number. Could we prove it? I don't know. But that's the gist of it. So examples of what we do. This is a new one. Nick mentioned uh, this, I think, earlier on. This is Unit 360 in... Stourbridge. It doesn't look like that now. If you go Google that, Unit 360, you'll see a nice part-built skate park which opens on the 25th of October, I hope. And that's an unsecured lend, £50,000, five years. But what we're finding more and more in the sector is it's jigsaw puzzle funding. So Dudley Council have put money into that by way of loan and grant. There are other trusts and foundations that have put money in. We were just part of a funding package. What you're finding now going forward, and I think you saw on the other slides, there is no one solution in social finance. There will be a mix of funding arrangements. We do a lot of renewable energy schemes which rely on community share issues. We're almost the safety net. I had an example of one in Oxford. We were going to lend £300,000 for it. It cost about £800,000 to build. They had a community share issue. We expected them to raise 300. We would bridge the rest. They raised 800. Doesn't always happen, but we were the safety net just in case. So what I'm saying there is it's all about a cocktail of funding. And this is 50, this one's 12 million. Charity Bank has put about a million pounds into that to create that, which is the Centre for Social Justice, all called the Foundry in London. It's, an it's a building to get together organisations that work in the human rights field to create a sharing and thriving space where people can meet and work. Um, it is in London. I would love to build or fund one that's being built in Birmingham, please. So if you want to do one of those, come and see me. So I'd really like to fund it. It is nice to talk about West Midlands stuff since I've worked in the West Midlands for 33 years. Unfortunately, Cooperative Bank and at Unity Trust. So that's me. That's the email. How to get in touch with us, just pick the phone up and give us a call. What you find with social finance guys, there's no complicated application processes. We just like to talk to you.